You think you know me. Hey, see if you can find anything worth watching. Welcome back to Behind the Hero. In yet another setback for the embattled Captain Quark, the Galactic Court ordered him to pay six billion volts in damages to citizens suffering from personal hygienator syndrome. Only two days later, Quark was arrested trying to flee to Pokotaru. The one-time hero, now full-time Zero, was placed in custody awaiting trial. But the next day it was discovered that he had escaped, flushing himself to freedom. We will return to Behind the Hero after these messages. <laughs> what a nut! I almost miss that guy sometimes. Almost. Yeah, what's up with Quark anyway? Hello everyone, welcome back to Ratchet and Clank 2, Kevin Commando. In the last episode our ship got destroyed and then repaired. And now we are going to planet Dobbo. Dobbo? Dobbo. Whatever. Any new items to buy? Yes, the mini rocket tube. This is worth buying. Which also means we have to move around on quick select. What is a weapon that we're not going to be using anymore out of these four? The mini nuke. But the one thing I want to do is move this on top so I can select it easily. But now for this level. You see, there is a skill point in this level, which is killing all the enemies with Ratchet and Clank 1 weapons that I got for free because I had the safe game for Ratchet and Clank 1. And when I say all the enemies, I mean all the enemies in here. Every single one of them. These little guys, kill them. Now, of course, this is kind of a challenge, since you can't upgrade these weapons, and this level has sort of a difficulty spike to it. Which you can see by the fact that we have an armor upgrade right here. We can buy a new armor for ourselves. The only one available, of course, right now is, th is the Tetra Fiber Armor. It costs 25,000 and it, re it blocks 33% of the damage. Which I say, not worth it. If you really suck at it and you don't have any other options, then you might want to go for it. Now I mentioned in the last episode, uh, a few episodes back, actually on Planet Notak with the, you know, the awful, 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 awful factory, that this game has sort of a difficulty spikes in it. This is one of those levels that has a difficulty spike in it. Which you can kind of see by the fact that all the previous weapons do like no damage or something. I'm pretty sure my Wallopper didn't even destroy those little guys. But of course, kick ass music. If you want some easy money, you, you want, might want to destroy the lights here. That gives a surprisingly good amount of money. I'm not sure how that works. But okay. Also, the reason why I'm using Tesla Claw is because it it was one of the late 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 weapons in the first game, and it's kind of a good one with dealing with enemies. Of course, these tanks, of course, not really useful. But for that, we got the busy bomb gun. Which used to kill these in one hit, not anymore. Doesn't even kill them with two hits. And not three. 
not four, five missiles to those tanks. Yeah, the difficulty has picked up a little bit. Also, did I seriously just get 10 ammo from my Tesla Claw? Let's investigate that. Yeah. They really don't want you... They don't want you to use these earlier weapons. Or the previous game weapons. Right, I've angered him. But he's so far away that he can't damage me. So I can just go and blast him. All I want. And he can't do anything about it. Yes, this takes a while. But we got all the time we need. And by that I mean I have about half an hour to beat this level. This may or may not have been a bad idea. What's that? Is that... No. Not sure what that is. That looks like an area I could go to, but no it's not. Okay, let's try the bomb glove. Once again, not the greatest idea to use multiple weapons. But it'll do. Yeah, bomb glove I guess is more useful against these big guys. Okay, that's a lie because three hits is apparently good enough to kill them. But try, uh, you, try using bomb glove to get that guy up there. Good luck. Ow. Okay, let's hide here. Let's hope. I should have rushed in there to get rid of the enemies. Let's hope there isn't too many tanks in this level. Because I can only kill one more tank and one more trooper with the ammo I have left. Also, this is a strategy that is not viable in this game, not, not whatsoever. Running and gunning, yeah, with a certain weapon, totally doable, with the weapons I have, no, not so much. And if you are good at the game, then this is a great strategy. If you are great at, you know, aiming, that then that's even better, but otherwise, no. Also, tapping the Tesla Claw does the most damage instead of just holding it. I'm also almost dead. This is going well. <sighs> Told you it was going to be sort of a difficulty spike. I only got 8 health left. With the damage that they are doing to me, that's like what? 3 shots and I'm dead? I'm going to pick up ammo. BRB. Also there's health there, so I might pick that up as well. And I'm back. I guess I could use, you know, not to walloper. Okay, get that weapon. Decoy glove, I guess that could be useful. But I never really used that. Not in the first game, and certainly not in this game. I just don't find it useful at all. It doesn't really... Well, that's gonna be a problem if you're just going to kill the enemies down there. Also, you were great. You are not helping Tesla Claw. I want that enemy in front of me. There we go. Wasn't too difficult now, was it? Sheesh. Oh, and yeah, yeah. If I didn't make it clear, you actually have to kill every single enemy with the weapons. So, as far as I know, no wrench. Here's a perfect example of the, you know, 
damage being reduced. Even the bomb craft does kill these guys in one hit. And that just be like the thing. The bomb club, it, the first weapon you get is good enough to kill any single enemy because it had good damage. Not anymore. Even the Walloper doesn't kill these guys. So, when you get these weapons, make sure you use them in the levels, or like one or two levels after you get it. And by that I mean, after, you know, Tabora, they are pretty much useless. Because two Visibon come, or Visibon shots to kill these guys. Ridiculous. Right, let's hope there isn't any tanks anywhere. Yeah, and brain is extremely costly because dying is the worst thing that can that can happen. Oh, that was a nice combo there. At least the TNT is, uh, you know, working with me. And if I can knock these guys into the water, that also works for me. Right, let's get rid of you. Damage the other guy, runs forward. I might be able to two shot, uh, 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 do uh, a double kill. Yeah, if you die, all the enemies respawn, so that's not an option. That is not an option if you want to do this challenge. So take your goddamn time. Also, make sure you actually have, you know, some balls because you're gonna be paying a lot. Oh, so there seems to be some sort of slope here. Maybe clan could fit in there, but... It's not a designated uh, clan area, so I can't do anything about that. You actually need a weapon... ...to get you through that. Okay, I'm gonna do something... Why did I get the dynamo? I'm gonna do something stupid and go guns blazing with Tesla Claw. And see if I get lucky to knock these guys down, which I didn't. Here's the slope again. There is a path going to the right. We can't do anything about that either. Yeah, like I was saying, you need a weapon. A certain weapon to actually get there. Which is kind of an odd thing. All things considered, because that weapon is only useful for that. Just like the decoy glove is only useful in the first game to get that infinite money. For me at least, because I never used the uh, decoy glove. Ever. Nobody, I mean nobody, gets by the mathematician. I guess all the good names were taken. Watch your mouth, Zero, before the mathematician subtracts your head from your shoulders! Sir, as a fellow number cruncher, could I please ask what this is all about? That moon's where we divide losers from winners before adding them to the Megacorp games! There's a challenger up there ready to reduce you to nothing! Hmm, this technology looks familiar. Perhaps I could... <laughs> Sweet! Think you can get us to that moon? Hello everyone, welcome back to our wait, we're not stopping the episode. Yeah, we got some clank battles in the Dobo orbit this time. Hey! Remember us? And with more kick-ass music. Alright, here's all the controls for giant clank. Let's fight. Yeah, this is optional, by the way. Most of this level is pretty much just optional. Right. What I'm actually doing here is getting rid of... Ow. 
everything in this planet. By the way, if you select when you are on the ground, you get that nice 3D map rendering, like you did in Jamming Array in Magda Nebula. Also, this lags the game. Yeah, that's really laggy. I don't remember it being this laggy. But, oh well. Also, smalling these ships gives you health for what, whatever reason. And they are spawning infinitely, by the way. Oh, by the way, I'm also... There's two skill points in this area. One of them I'm doing right now, which is just destroy absolutely everything. Oh, the casualties are skyrocketing. The other skill point is to win with melee attacks only. I'm pretty sure jumping on him counts as melee damage, so... No rockets, no special attacks, only fists. But I think I'm... Ow! I think I am done with, you know, destroying stuff, because they give, uh, there might be health. Ow! In this area, so... Might wanna save some for later. Also, if you think this is just gonna be a straight battle to the end... And you, you are the only one who can get health, think again. Because he will actually go for rockets and special attacks as well. Punch ya. Yeah, Clank's attack aren't that great. If you can do a 3 hit combo, that's great. But other than that, the melee attack. It's not great, because that do does lots of damage, and it's always that 3 hit combo, so make sure you do the double punch last when you are destroying buildings. Right. Let's get rid of some ships here. Let him run around a little bit, maybe destroy the city for me. Or, f or fire rockets, whatever works. Right. Let's get rid of the double punch. And maybe he wants to, you know, fight me instead of firing rockets at me, never mind. Let's destroy some terrain then. Also, the arrow is always pointing at him, so... Don't worry if you lose a sight of him. The arrow will let you know where it is. Or oh, here's the special attack, you might want to jump for it. And since we have pretty much the same mechs... Yes, I said uh, Clank as mech. We have the similar attacks. So his special attack is pretty much the same as mine. So my special attack is pretty much the same as his, so... Don't be disgruntled if you didn't see it. Also, he picked up my health, the bastard. Okay, this is my health. Give me my health. Okay, what is there to destroy and where? Alright, if I go down, there might be something to destroy. Keep an eye out him, if he decides to come back at me, which he didn't. Which is always a good thing. If nothing else, let's get the skill point where I just destroy absolutely everything. Keep an eye out him, or oh, he's there. Health acquired, ow. No, there's still buildings, yeah. No. I'll jump on you then, screw you. Get some health. He's behind me, isn't he? No. He's on the other side of the planet, I believe. There's the skill point for destroying everything. Now let's go punch him to death. And that's it, pretty much all, also all the health picks up, pickups in this. Also, the longer you hold the jump button, the longer you jump, so... If you just wanna hop, you can also hop. You jerk, why did you run away? Okay, when he's ready to do the punch, that is the moment when you start punching. If you wanna make sure you connect the punches. 
it's a medal for me. It's a good thing that he hasn't realized destroying his own troops gives health. Also, that I guess that's kind of fair because you can see the amount of health I'm losing from these guys. So I guess that's kind of fair that I get health. And since everything has been destroyed, he won't be getting any health. Get back here. Get back here. Oh, he you went around the roundabout. That was a mistake. Okay, hold on. Get my double punch out the way so I can actually, you know, do some damage. Oh, he's smoking. He's really smoking. He has run away from me. Alright. You guys, give me health. Thank you. Alright, where are you? There you are. Wanna stop running? No? Okay. He's desperate. Uh, he's looking for health. Desperately. And I don't have to worry about it because I can just do that. Get over here. Yeah, this is taking a while. Okay, you did something. I'm not sure what. Oh my god, that all the enemies are here. That's a lot of enemies. Just because I destroyed all the buildings, they can now just get a free shot at me. Also, you are really good at aiming rockets at me, aren't you? And now you now you come to pick up more. I'm pretty sure. Oh, so I saw that asshole. Now you want to do a straight fight? Oh, damn it! No paste gun to look for more rockets. Oh, I don't mind. I'm just gonna walk. On the other side of the planet, where he's gone somewhere else. I get that. Damn it! God damn it! Also, a side note: you can actually see Ratchet kind of just sticking on to Clank. I'm not sure if you can destroy the, those things with rockets, if that's allowed in the skill point. But I'm not gonna look, uh, find out because I'm so close to beating this. I might have to do top in two episodes because I'm running out of time myself. I'm running out of time myself, so I I might have to go for a two-parter, and this is kind of a huge level anyway because there's. There's kind of two mini-levels in the level, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. There's, just, there's two complete different areas. This one, which is once again optional. Asshole, get over here. Man, I jump high. Also, which way is up? I don't know. You have to stop, so I can just punch you a little bit. So close. That's not fair. How can you uh, walk faster than me? That's not fair. Yeah, if you want to do the st uh, skill points at the same time, this is what you get. A skill point that takes forever. Also, if you manage to jump on him, that does like crazy damage if you manage to land on him. And I guess because you can, that uh, it's so hard. That that probably explains the damage it does. There's an actually an, a spoiler alert for what almost a when did this game out like 2004 or something? Oh, stop firing rockets, do your special attack, because uh, then I know for, a sh know for a fact that you're gonna be, you know, standing close to me. And now you're just gonna run away again. Man, you're an asshole. 
They're coming up this way. Oh, so close! God damn it! God damn it! They're destroying these ships. I could have had it if I had my, you know, if I was able to start with my left hook. Right? Make sure the double punch is out of the way. Go straight for him. He's right there. God damn it. Uh, I want to use missile right about now. Also, I'm pretty sure the pickups will just keep uh, respawning forever. Oh. Where are you getting health? That's my big question right now. Where are you getting health? Are you actually destroying your own troops? Because if you are, stop it. You're cheating. I'm not cheating because, you know, I'm getting shot, shot at, so I say that's fair. There you are. There we go, sheesh. We got the skill point. And Thug for Less is gone. It's a win-win. For me. Not for Thug for Less. But for me, it's a win-win and that's... that's the most important thing. Divide and conquer, huh? Hey, guess you guys were prime after all. You're going to the Megacorp Games! Welcome to Megacorp Games, sponsored by Megacorp. Okay, Megacorp contestants, get ready to grapple with our Megacorp Gladiator team. And if you survive that, enter the Megacorp Battle Arena with our Mega Spider Bot and our Mega Death Defy Mega Cage match. <laughs> then open the throttle for the all Megacorp Hover by Grace, brought to you by Team Megacorp Racing. Hustle indigenous population not owned, endorsed, sponsored, supplied, advocated, or even liked by Megacorp. <laughs> Approach at your own risk. The Megacorp Games, keep it mega. Yeah, when I said that the part is optional, I was kind of lying. Oh, that place, place is called Lunar City, apparently. Okay, cool story. All the enemies are back. I think I'm going to take a taxi this time. Even though I really like... Oh, my god. I just thought of something. Since the enemies have respawned, does that mean I actually have to redo this and fight all the enemies again? I have a bad feeling for oh, that that's gonna be the game. Oh I have to do that anyway because you know I'm I'm going. I need to go right about now. So that was a complete waste of time, this episode. Ah <sighs> I'm such more. Anyway, that does it for this episode. It's kinda of a weird ending since we're not flying away with a ship. Yeah, that that's it for this episode. Next time we're gonna stay on Planet Topo, and we're gonna enter the facility. Also, fuck those weapons, they are pointless. <laughs>